Okay, so, <laughs> I, I say that a lot, huh? Okay, so, okay, so, anyways, today, I did that a lot too. Today, we're gonna do this together. I need to stop. I need to look at the lens, not the screen. Finally, gonna try to fly this today. This is the Parrot Swing, and it's super, super misty today. <laughs> so, I'm hoping it won't mess with my flight too much but I have this battery pre-charged from last night I believe this was a Bayang protocol uh oh it's already trying to sink damn it and I missed it I'm like 10 minutes early for work guys just for you trying to get a quick test flight before a uh, work day starts yeah <laughs> that's unfortunate Is my goggles still blinking? Yes. Alright, so I just got done with the test flight. Uh, got about 10 minutes to fly. And, um, okay, look at, the, look at the camera. So, okay, yeah, I just got done with the test flight and I had about 10 minutes to fly. And I had two packs. Uh, I just checked the voltage on them. I think I flew for about three minutes or so each. Um, they're, they're at 3.85 volts, so maybe I could have gotten four minutes. Maybe a little bit more, but I say four minutes is a good flight time if you're flying it like I was, which was very much like a quadcopter. Uh, towards the end of the flight, I realized that if you actually go faster, it requires less throttle, which makes a lot of sense because then you're using the wing surface to fly. Uh, yeah, so it was, it, was, <laughs> it was a lot of fun. It was very gentle. It did wobble about a bit and I kept forgetting that if I make really sharp turns It'll just drop out of the sky because you're no longer using the wing surface to fly But if you make gradual turns, it actually hovered pretty well um, I think I wasn't flying fast enough to take advantage of the lift though uh, the, the biggest problem with this test flight was that I was using um, a linear dipole antenna but I have a CP antenna on the and the parrot swing. But control range seemed good and control response was good. It was very easy to control. It flew well, flew completely in acro mode, so it flew like a plane. Uh, also the viewing angle was perfect. It just felt like I was flying a somewhat high angle quadcopter. If I have time after work or maybe during lunch, I'll jump out there and just fly again. I'm, I'm hoping if I can actually start flying faster and use the wing surface, I'll get like a good five minute flight time. Um, my ultimate goal was to have a somewhat of a long range quadcopter that can fly like a wing sort of deal. Uh, I don't know if that'll work. Ideally, I was aiming for closer to like 10 because I mean, it's not that hard to get a quadcopter that can fly for five minutes. Of course, the flight performance on those aren't gonna be very great, um, but yeah. The thrust on it with the 500 milliamp hour battery, 1S battery was plenty. Um, so I think that's going to be uh, the go-to size, 450, 500 milliamp hours. I might even be able to go a little bit higher because I have plenty of punch. What's going on everybody? It is 6 o'clock now. It's actually a little past 6, it's at 610. I'm going to finish flying the, the Parrot Swing because I have two batteries left if you remember. Of course you remember, it was like a second ago. And I also charged the battery for the Unique Breeze. So we're gonna test this guy out outdoors for the first time. Okay, I forgot to hit the record, so the voiceover um, this thing is happening. So yeah, I'm just testing out the range again. Um, I, I think I might've been on the wrong channel in the previous flight. Um, I, I, I think I'm still using the wrong antenna though. So if I have the same antenna, I should get even better range. Uh, so I'll have to try that again next time, but it's not so bad as long as I'm not like behind trees and stuff. I'm still getting relatively okay signal. Um, I'm trying to get some height and get um, see how see how controllable it is. I'm also trying to get a little more angle. Um, I'm trying to see if I can feel the wing lifting a bit and I, I think I'm just not going fast enough to be doing that here. Um, but I'm just trying to cruise along 
I think I'm still going a little bit too slow to get any lift though. And there we go, right over that tree. There's gonna be a lot of static because I'm right above myself. Uh, there's a little bit of static here too because there's a lot of trees. And you can see right here, I almost ran into a branch. Well, I do run into a branch, but recovery is fine because there's just so much um, punch to these motors. Um, there's, there's more than enough. It just hovers like a quad top there if I just throttle up. So that's pretty easy. I, I start to get a little more aggressive here and try to get a little more angle. Um, and until I get up to speed, you can see I lose a bit of altitude. I'm trying to learn how to turn and I'm turning it like it's a quadcopter and when you do that it just swings wide and the altitude drops like crazy. So what I learned later on is that you want to roll into a turn like, like a banking motion. That's how airplanes turn. <laughs> if you turn it like, like a quadcopter and kind of yaw about, you just kind of fall like straight out of the sky. Um, I make that mistake again here, I just flat out crash, um, so I switch locations and I try again and I start to get a little more comfortable, I actually got better reception here and whenever you get better reception you're more willing to try stuff, at least that's how I am, so um, I'm testing out the range a little bit more but I'm keeping that angle low and you can see here that if this was a quadcopter this is like almost full throttle at, at this angle because this camera angles were like 40 degrees or so so if you're almost looking at the ground that means you got to be going very fast but you can see here I'm actually going slightly slower than before because of course the wing is starting to give me lift at this point so um, I'm giving it very little throttle and I'm just trying to use the pitch to adjust the altitude here and right here I try to see if I can punch up there's there's not enough punch to quite go up and over like a quadcopter. Um, maybe if I had a little more speed, I could have done it, but you have to build up to that speed if you're trying to use the wing surface. So, uh, right here, I think I try to do a little bit more. Um, I'm trying to feel around a little bit more, like how, how the angle of attack feels. And I think there's a little bit of wind here and you can definitely feel every little breeze with the with such a large wing surface and I try to bank turn a little bit and it seems to work if you turn nice and slow and I'm trying to pick up a little more speed to see if I can um, get a little a little more <laughs> a little more speed out of the wings and if I can just use the glide and I think I tried to just kill the throttle at one point and if I'm almost angled down, it, it floats a little bit, but not for very long. I have to always have a little bit of throttle on. Um, and I think here I try to do a backflip. I don't have enough speed, so I kind of wobble about, but it can do a backflip. Um, I just got to get enough speed, but then the motors definitely have plenty of punch. I try to do a roll here, and I realize this, the angle was kind of weird, so I try again here, and then it turns out much better. <laughs> but yeah, I'm just trying to see what, what the acrobatics feel like. I've never flown a plane before, guys, so I don't really know how it's supposed to behave. I'm just going by feel. And again, I'm almost looking at the ground, so that means I'm, I'm flying almost straight on. So right here, I get a lot more speed. But I, I have a habit of killing the throttle as, as you roll halfway back. And I think on a plane, you want to maintain that throttle. <laughs> so, so that was a little silly thing that I realized later why I was doing these really short loops. Okay, so here we go again. I'm trying to pick up some more speed. And I think right about here is when the battery starts to die. Um, <laughs> the, the video breaks up first and the first thing to go is the camera. So right about here, the camera just completely fails and I see nothing. Uh, it comes right back once the voltage stack disappears because I'm using a shitty battery. But, but yeah, um, that was the flight. It was actually pretty good. Well, looks like I crashed. <laughs> Oh man, I should have brought the batteries.
So, this is where it fell. Um, let's see if I get any video. Yep, video is crystal clear. I love this camera, man. This FPV camera is awesome. Let's uh, unplug the battery. Um, so here's one propeller. I wonder where the other propeller is. There it is. Didn't go too far. Alright, that was great. There's, there's people still working. <laughs> there's still people working. So if they see me, they might be like, what the crap? Why don't you come and help? But man, <laughs> if I got shit to do, then I come in early and finish my shit. I don't expect anyone to help me, so. I'm gonna take my time and fly. But I think I'm gonna fly this again later. This is a lot of fun. Like it genuinely put a smile on my face. This is great stuff, man. I didn't think it'll fly this well. I am very, very pleasantly surprised. And as you know, I'm flying over concrete. This thing is super durable too. I mean, I crashed every single flight <laughs> several times but it's flying just fine I wonder what the battery voltage is let me check that real quick let me get those number for you guys to see if this mod is worth doing I'm using this battery by the way it's the 500 milliamp hour yeah so let's see 1s 3.72 okay the battery is about drained but it's not bad. That was a pretty long flight. I don't know how long that was. I guess we'll find out on the DVR. But that was pretty incredible. I'm going to save that last battery and I'm going to fly um, the Unique Breeze real quick. Let me see, what time is it? Okay, it's, it's 621, so I guess I've been here for like a little over 10 minutes. So I still have a little bit of time. I'm going to fly this thing later, definitely. I'm going to save it. I'm actually going to save it because i like flying usually i'm just trying to get shit over with <laughs> but this man this was fun it's like flying an airplane but without any of the uh, the detriments because i can just <laughs> when i start to lose altitude because i'm stalling because you know that happens when you have a wing and you don't have enough airspeed yeah like you just throttle out and then it just balances itself like a quadcopter it's freaking awesome it's like a very, very floaty quadcopter, but the floatiness depends on the angle of attack that you give it. It's pretty awesome.